Hello everyone, this is a pretty back and it's time for another review. This is the Hutchins Bay Company deck of cards. Hutchins Bay, also known as HBC in Canada, or simply known as the Bay nowadays. Um, it is one of the oldest department stores in the world, and definitely the oldest in Canada. It's been around, actually I think it says it's 1607. Back in the old days, when it was in the early days of North America, when you had the Brits and the French and and the colonists, actually the colonists weren't even around, I guess, but you know, you had the Brits and the French and they were trading with the Aboriginals and whatnot, and it was trading post, and that's how it got its start. Anyways, in front of the box, you see kind of the colors on there. There's black, there's yellow, there's, there's red, and there's green, and there's white. There's a logo on there, and it says Hudson's Bay Company. It also says the name in French, Company de la Bay de Hudson. And it says, established 1670. And in French, Constantui in 1670. And then Canada, playing cards, cards is away on the bottom. And on one side, it says, Hudson's Bay Company, playing cards, cards is away. The other side says the same thing, but in French, Compagnie de la Baye de Hudson, playing cards, cards is the way. Nothing on top, or the bottom. The back, nothing much, it just says made in USA, fabric, I attach your knee, it is a standard USB-C seal, with nothing on the flaps. This, by the way, is a deck that was available, I guess, at the bay at some point in time, but they are sold out, I'm not sure how long they've been sold out. The only place I've seen them is eBay, anywhere from like 15 to 30 bucks for one deck. And so it's a little bit price, actually even a little bit less if you're lucky, but they seem to be selling. They were, I've seen quite a few on eBay, or several on eBay, and they've just been selling like hotcakes. So everyone wants to be looking for them. And they must not be too old, but I'm not sure how old they are, how long ago they came out doesn't say that it's Cincinnati on the box it doesn't say that it's a date so inside he had a couple of ad cards <laughs> moving along just Hudson's Bay company playing cards and it talks about Hudson Bay it says it was established in 1670 one of the oldest companies in the world and an integral part of Canadian history that playing cards were first introduced in China in the 9th century and arrived in Europe in the 14th therefore it's entirely possible Ultimate and likely that early HBC traders would have wild away the dark winter hours playing cards by the shores of Hudson's Bay. And the suits in this deck of cards are inspired by our col colorful heritage and references HBC's ties to British royalty, the fur trade, early explorers, traders, and trappers, our First Nation partners, and trading posts. So, it's pretty interesting. Here's your back design. It is a one way design, but it's colorful. And it is what it is. You get the same card in French. En Francais. Then you get to the Jokers. With our Canadian symbol. The Beaver. Not that kind of beaver. This kind of beaver. Okay, the dirty thoughts. In the corner, instead of saying US, it says HBC. Very clever. And you just see there's a beaver. Riding in a canoe that actually has. The HBC colors on there. It says Joker on top. It's got a top. And it's saying he's got a top hat for some reason. The other Joker is identical, of course. The Ace of Spades has basically the Hudson's Bay logo on there, which is a couple of moose and looks like a fox. And that's what you see in the front of the box, except they replaced the center with a spade pit. And again, it says Hudson's Bay Company, and the same thing in French. I'm not going to butcher it anymore. And then all the Aces actually had the same thing, which is nice. Then we get to the court cards. Like I said, they feature different uh, parts of history, I guess. The spades, they look like prison people, which is a little bit odd, unless they're supposed to be friends. <laughs> I guess it could be friends, it would make sense, but they're a little bit dark skinned for friends. Then you got for the hearts, these are the aboriginals, as you can tell. 
No suicide king, that would just be uh, <laughs> bad. Clubs or actually animals, Canadian animals. The moose, the foxy fox, <laughs> and the beaver. And then the diamonds are, looks like, I don't know, Métis people, maybe French, maybe Brits, I don't know, it's hard to tell. They all got darker skin. So it's pretty interesting. Then the number cards are just basically standard, kind of Arco number cards. <clears throat> the deck, of course, has an Eric and Finnis. And a bicycle stock. And, whoops. <laughs> I was afraid this might happen. Oh. The card actually did not fall on the ground. It's a miracle. Just mix those in there. So yeah, it's pretty interesting for spreading and fanning. Let's go stock it gives and finish. Um, like I said, I don't know if it was made in Cincinnati, if it was made in Erlanger. Actually, judging by the stock, uh, what I'm feeling, it could be a newer deck. Then again, it's who knows. Maybe it's uh, actually in a Navigator stock. But it's pretty thin. And flimsy. Well, I don't want to say flimsy, but it's definitely pretty thin and flexible. But they're pretty cool for fanning. Check that out. It's a fanning deck. Neat. That's pretty cool. I like that. So, um, pretty nice decks, especially for a Canadian like moi, because of the history with the uh, company and everything. Like I said, the place to get them is eBay. If you're looking for them, that seems to be just about the only place that has them. That is that. I will see you next time. Oh, I said do some ratings. Um, art style, or uh, art wise, theme wise, I like it. I give it a four out of five. It could be a little bit clearer on the court cards as to who. These people are supposed to be, I only know the aboriginals for sure, and the animals. Um, I don't mind the back design or anything like that, so I'll say 4 out of 5. Handling wise, very nice so far. I'll say 4 out of 5. And then, uh, usability. Uh, it's definitely usable, aside from the one way backs. Everything's pretty simple. Court cards might be a little bit hard to identify, but outside of that, it's pretty good, so I'll say three and three quarters out of five. Overall, I'll say four out of five. Nice deck. I like it. I'll see you next time with more reviews. Don't forget to check out collectiblepointcards.com and all the other links in my description. Use the codes. Get some discounts. Help out the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay, I'm going to see ya.